we played awfully well. I think the, you know, obviously no points makes a big difference in a ball game. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, they kind of set the tone. Now, I can't tell you when the last time we had a shutout. Uh, I mean, it just doesn't happen, you know, in this day and age. So I, I thought it was something for our youngsters to be truly proud of. DBs did a great job. Wyman did a great job. I mean, everybody did a great job. You know, the defense, you know, we got to give them credit. They shut out a great Texas offensive team. We just went in there with the mindset that, you know, hey, this is, this is the drive um, that they could catch fire and get hot. Um, we need to buckle down and and uh, finish them off. I think any defense that can go out there and put a shutout on the board is, is something that they should take pride in, and that, that helps us to offense out, you know, when you only need one to win when a team puts a shutout up there, so that's definitely something that's really positive for us. We just had to put up a few points, but, you know, we're not, we're not pleased with the way we played. We left a lot of plays out there, left a lot of points out there, so got to go back to the drawing board and correct our mistakes and be ready to be, ready to be better next week. Yeah, we, didn't start, we started off all right, but, you know, we didn't get the touchdowns as we wanted, you know, so we didn't score in the red zone, as Coach Simon would say, so we got to go. We still got to make a lot of adjustments. Well, yeah, I mean, it was, you got to come away with points, and, but it was irritating. If you want to win in this conference, you better be able to score when you get the ball down there. To get stopped, you know, on our first two drives where we only get six points, I mean, you know, that kind of hurts because as well as we were playing, you know, any time they could come in and score and now it's 7-6. to six. Anytime you're up 6-0 to zero when, you feel, when you should easily be up 14-0, to zero, that's not a good feeling. You know, I don't, that'll, that'll sneak up and get you beat. Um, so we got we to gotta be able to punch the ball in the end zone and get it down inside the corner. I mean, there's mistakes that are, that are there, but collectively, uh, played well, played aggressively. I think we played the kind of football that Coach Schneider likes, where you know we were very methodical with our offense and we make the plays that we need to. And uh, like I said, I definitely think that takes a toll on a defense when they're out there for eight, nine minutes of possession. Uh, you know, it was two to one in terms of possession time. That was important, and we did create a few big plays that were significant. Uh, you know, big plays are, are major for any offense playing against a, a, a very fine defensive football team. Uh, you know, we got a few, uh, we, we gave up a few, you know, in the second half we had uh, uh, two penalties that uh, erased, you know, two major plays in the, in the ball game. You know, obviously we're doing some good things, you know, we're 6-1, and one. Um, you know, we're, we're pleased with where we're at, I guess you could say, but, we're, you know, we're not, we're not comfortable, we're not content, we're not, we're not going to be content, so we got a ways to go. You know, we got a, lot of, got a lot of football ahead of us, right? So, you know, we're uh, only as good as we were today and tomorrow's a different day so like coach Schneider says it's 1-0 and and you know like, like we said this whole week we were focused on Texas we weren't worried about being ranked number 11 because we know that as long as we take care of business everything's going to take care of itself so I mean we're going to celebrate enjoy it it's homecoming but you know when Monday comes around we're, we're right we're focused on Oklahoma State ready to go